I'm Luke Summerhays, and I love Meditite. When people hear the word yoga in modern parlance, they likely think only of the fitness benefits of stretching and limbering the body. True yoga, as developed in India over centuries, is a practice of good mind, body and actions. It constitutes a physical discipline, meditation and a mindful outlook. Hindu ideas were absorbed by Buddhism, which then transported them to Japan, and combined them with local Shinto ideas into a unique amalgamation. Yoga practices, particularly meditation, took hold on the samurai class in a big way, leading to the Zen Buddhist movement. This led to a Japanese outlook on yoga and meditation as a warrior practice, and subsequently to the seeming disconnect of characters like Street Fighter's Dalsim, a pacifist master yogi who uses his power to teleport around breathing fire and punching and kicking folks. Meditite is a small blue psychic and fighting type Pokemon. A little humanoid creature with a large onion-like head covering that resembles a yogi's turban, it is often seen sitting in a meditation pose and sometimes even hovering above the ground. Prior to the third generation, fighting type Pokemon had been restricted to standard physically attacking strong boys. However, Far Eastern mythology often combines martial arts prowess with mental abilities and supernatural power. Pokemon Emerald tells us, It continually meditates for hours every day. As a result of rigorous and dedicated yoga training, it has tempered its spiritual power so much it can fly. And Pokemon Sapphire tells us, Meditite heightens its inner energy through meditation. It survives on just one berry a day. Minimal eating is another aspect of this Pokemon's training. I have dabbled with meditation a little. When I was living in Kyoto three years ago, I went for an introductory Zen meditation course. I tried to free my mind of objectivity, but just came up with the idea of a comical video game review. Now I live less than a kilometer from Zenkoji, the original and central temple of Zen Buddhism in Japan. My friends Matt and Matty, who you may have heard on this podcast or sister podcasts, are pretty into meditation but I don't really like being left alone with my own thoughts. Some of Meditite's other Pokedex entries make it far more relatable. Pokemon Ruby tells us, Meditite undertakes rigorous mental training deep in the mountains. However, whenever it meditates, this Pokemon always loses its concentration and focus. As a result, its training never ends. The English name Meditite is obviously based on the word meditate, perhaps combined with fight, or tight, referring to that tight focus it pursues. The Japanese name is Asanan, based on the word asana, meaning yoga poses, and man, meaning soft. At level 37, however, Meditite focuses and hardens, developing its fighting skill and its meditational discipline, and evolving into Medichan. Meditam stands upright, taking on poses similar to those seen in statues of Buddhist and Hindu guardian deities. It has legs that resemble baggy red pants, as worn by jinn or other magical creatures in Indian folklore. On its head it wears a cap with a long growth resembling a ponytail. With the low-cut pants and constant movement, Meditam does somewhat resemble a belly dancer. Pokemon Emerald tells us, through crushingly harsh yoga training, it gained the power to foretell its foe's actions. It battled with elegant, dance-like movements. And Fire Red and Leaf Green told us, It elegantly avoids attacks with dance-like steps, then launches a devastating blow in the same motion. Other Pokedex entries don't mention the dancing so much, but do reference Medicham's strict yoga and meditation training, and the great power with which this imbues it. Pokemon Sapphire tells us, Through the power of meditation, Medicham developed a sixth sense. It gained the ability to use psychokinetic powers. This Pokemon is known to meditate for a whole month without eating. This ability to access a hidden inner power is actually reflected smartly in-game. 
Medicham has pretty mediocre stats, even in attack, but can have the ability Pure Power, which doubles that attack stat. This ridiculous attacking power could be devastating, but with weak speed and bulk, it required skillful play to be used competitively. As of the 6th generation, Medicham also gained a Mega Revolution. This form is even more like a Guardian Deity, with ribbons flowing around its body, levitating through psychic energy, and an elaborate turban as worn by someone like Shiva the Destroyer. This isn't one of those Mega Revolutions which massively changes up the nature of the Pokémon. In fact, Mega Medicham uses the same pure power ability which Medicham can use. It does give a very healthy boost to stats, including attack and speed, making Medicham's sweeping potential even more ridiculous. The name Medicham obviously combines Meditate and Champion. The Japanese name is Charem, combining Champion with Harem, hopefully in reference only to the baggy trousers sometimes known as Harem Pants. I've been trying to work on my mental health by avoiding social media and spending time on mountains. I've also been working on my fitness through regularly hitting the gym and, again, by spending time on mountains. But have these brightly coloured, onion-looking monsters inspired me to take it to the next level and try to incorporate some yoga into my life? Uh, watch this space. Music for Luke Loves Pokemon was composed by Jonathan Cromey. Artwork for the show is by Katie Groves. Writing, editing and producing is all by me, Luke Summerhays, and costs are covered by my lovely supporters on Patreon. If you like this podcast, please rate and review on whatever podcast app you're listening through, and please tell your Pokemon-loving friends. The podcast can be found on Twitter and Facebook at LukeLovesPKMN, so why not get in touch? The next two monsters are Electrike and Plusle, so please get in touch with your thoughts about those or any other monsters. Lastly, as I mentioned, this podcast is supported by Patreon. If you want to listen to episodes early and help keep the show hosted online, visit patreon.com slash podcastiopodcastius. And if you have an idea for something I could offer that would make you interested in signing up, Twitch streams, Q&As, videos, or content on wider topics, please let me know. And even if you don't feel like doing any of that, thank you so much for listening. I love Meditite, and remember, I love you too.